Hey everyone, and welcome to the Inside Scoop. I'm Sinets Kara Suboy, joined by Paul Sloan, executive editor. Hi, Paul. We are Hi. talking about Facebook earnings yep. reports. Numbers came out today, yep, and they're pretty good. Yeah, it was fourth quarter. They showed a lot of growth. They showed real strength in mobile. Twenty-three percent of their uh, ad revenue is now coming from mobile, which is huge. Uh, everything was really strong, though investors are ho hum about it because stock's been up quite a bit in the last few months, and to get there, Facebook has been spending a lot more money. So to get their ad revenue up 23% from mobile, what have they done differently in the last couple months? Well, basically, starting last spring, they introduced what's called sponsored stories, which mm -hmm. are their mobile ads, ads that come right in your news feed. Yeah. And the big surprise, as they just said on the conference call, was that these worked. Hmm. They're not angry users. People don't mind them. And it, they're very, um, they kept stressing how powerful they are because they have your real identity. They have people who want to be there. This is not seen as intrusive. Yeah. And if they, when they get the balance right and they stress they're really in the early days, these ads convert to use the ad lingo very well. People are clicking through. Right. Interesting. Now, Facebook also rolled out a couple of other new products in the last few months, like GIFs and the search. Right. Has that had much of an impact on you the know, numbers? You know, GIFs, they wouldn't say anything. They said it's tiny, tiny. They hinted. Uh, that's you know the revenue, but they and they hinted um, that there's still a lot of tweaking going on with the product. Okay. They got pressed on this a bit and said we're just going to have to figure out the right mix. But they're optimistic that it'll grow into something, but they didn't give any time frame. Search, of course, they just rolled out uh, yeah. this quarter. Very new. And True. this is some, this is a big you know Mark Zuckerberg's favorite project right now. Um, he keeps talking about the trillion things and shares and goes across uh, that go across Facebook and sees this as a huge opportunity to create a product that's unlike any kind of web search, which is social search, which is you know they call it graph search. But it's way too early to tell. It's only been rolled out to maybe tens of thousands of people. Right. We'll see that in future quarters, right. of course. Uh, what would you say the company really needs to do moving forward to continue this upward trajectory of the stock price? Yeah, I, I think it's more the same. I mean, look, they're still at thirty-one dollars. They're still way far below their $38 IPO offering price. Yeah. The last few months have been very optimistic and they're on the right tra trajectory, but they just have to keep going and showing that their mobile ads work, you know, um, keep making their products work better and better and, and just make that balance work. And hopefully some of this revenue will start to improve from other, other um, products such as GIFs. And uh, finally, you know, with all this talk of mobile, I hear that Zuckerberg finally squashed the rumors of a Facebook phone. That's just not going to happen. Well, he's actually squashed these rumors Before. a couple of times. <laughs> but he wasn't even asked directly today, but he just came out and said, we are not going to make a phone. Uh -huh. Look, to him, it just doesn't ma make sense. Why make the device? I mean, they want to yeah. be on all the platforms. They don't want to – it just do doesn't make sense. They want to have a deep relationship through Android, through iOS, and through mobile web. Yeah. He didn't talk uh, about the other, other smaller platforms out there, but – that he just once again dismissed that. Right, right. Why cross over to hardware when you're doing well enough as it is? It's just not logical for them. Yeah. Thank you so much. Paul sure. Sloan, Executive Editor. I'm Kara Suboy. Thanks for watching the Inside Scoop.